what does Black Widow do? Like, you know she's not working at the Gap part-time. I don't know that. How do superheroes in the MCU earn a paycheck? Nina. Well. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss this one to Tom first. Tom. If you're sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. So the way that I see it, there are three different ranks of superheroes in the MCU, right? You've got your A-listers, your B-listers, and your C-listers. Does that okay. seem accurate? Okay. Yeah. So at the, uh, at the bottom rung, I think what you've got is uh, you've got guys like White Vision. You've got guys, mm -hmm. the, the, the ones that nobody's like super familiar with, but they all know that it, it, he, he's around. I think those guys are mostly doing Grubhub. Okay. So after that. <laughs> They're just Postmates delivery drivers. 100%. Yeah. No, they've got jetpacks. Yeah. They've got flying. They've got yeah. they've got motorcycles and stuff. Like they can, they do okay. Like they're, they're probably pulling like 30% more deliveries than your average driver. So they're yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah. making more yeah. than minimum wage. They're doing fine. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, it, it, it's always weird because they show up at the door and they're like, hey, I, this yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, you're, I'm white vision. Here's your, uh, so you go. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're, you're, uh, what's his name? And he's like, white vision. And they're like, oh, like, uh, <laughs> from the, uh, I can't remember what one. He's like, it's fine. So you got that guy. Okay, so B listers, I think uh, those th those are the guys that are gonna like. So you got like uh, like War Machine guys like that. Uh, they're all doing cameo, uh, and they're all right. They're they're like it keeps them busy. It's like it, really like it's more comfortable than most people have any right to be. You work two days a week. You know, you you, you pump out like seventeen or eighteen of these things a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're living. You're fine. You're you, you're doing okay now. There are also the A-listers, but before I get to that, I think that there's there's an in-between with the B-listers and the A-listers that I think uh, we need to address, and that's Hawkeye. I think Hawkeye tells everybody that he, and this is just based on his haircut from Endgame, I think he <laughs> tells everybody that he's doing really well trading Bitcoin, but yeah. in reality, he's on Cameo, too. <laughs> and he's charging he's less than like, Ernie Hudson. Or he's like selling like his belongings on eBay. There's probably like, like a little bit of like memorabilia yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. was in the I, same I room even... as Captain America. Yeah, this yeah, was yeah, in yeah. the same room. This is something I stole off Iron Man's suit. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's what it is. He's going through I people's wore this lockers when they're not at work. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, who wants yeah. Loki's Tic Tacs? I'm pretty sure that Loki, I found them like they were on the ground close to where Loki was also on the ground. So there's an argument to be made that these are $500 Tic Tacs. Uh, so I think that that's what he's doing. And then A-listers was like, that was really a, that was a problem for me. Like I, I was, I was trying to figure it out. Um, and then I remembered there's that line in, it's in, uh, in Captain America and the Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. uh, where, it, where Captain America gets into the elevator and then all the guys pile in after him. And Captain America says, before we start, uh, does anybody want to hear about me undies? <laughs> They're so all natural, and they're three times as absorbent as cotton. <laughs> Me undies, the underpants that a postal worker has to hand to you. <laughs> so yes, I think <laughs> I think it's endorsements. I think that the A-listers are all, and we see like a little bit of it with like uh, with Captain America in Homecoming, where he has to do like the he, he's doing the public service the announcements. PSOs. Like, there's no way yeah. that he's not making at least scale doing that, right? I mean, we can agree. <laughs> That's, those are my theories. Okay, very good. Now, we should, before we continue, we should establish why we're even asking this question, right? Because in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Anthony Mackie's character, Sam Wilson, the Falcon, mm -hmm. the new Captain America, goes to a bank and, like the Human Torch from Anchorman, was denied a bank loan. <laughs> And Perfect. he says, the bank officer is like, well, aren't you, does Stark give you money? What do you, how does, and he's like, it doesn't really work that way. And he says, I got government mm -hmm. contracts, but, and then he kind of trails off. And so right. that's, kind, that's what got us thinking about what, like, okay, so if you're on the Avengers, how, like, how do you make money? You know, right? Like, mm -hmm. what happens? Nina, did you have any thoughts about this? Well, another nearly as uh, as clever as Tom's ranking of uh, you know Postmates delivery to uh, mm -hmm. podcast endorsements. I mean, there's Don't the obvious ones, right? Like that standard. 
<laughs> There's the obvious ones with like, you know, we know how Tony Stark made his money, right? He ran Stark Enterprises. Uh, I know he stopped selling weapons, but he is like this tech whiz who can create and sell basically anything in the world. So there there's that. Mm, yeah. Um I and I got the sense that like Captain America's through time are like subsidized by the US government especially as we got into Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Mhm. But yeah, I like I really struggled with like what does Black Widow do? Like you know she's not working at the Gap part-time. Um <laughs> I don't know. And that. so it's just Okay, she fine. might. I She's she undercover. Folds, maybe she folds khakis. You know, I have no <laughs> idea. But yeah, because it's like these are some of the most recognizable people in the world. So how would they hold mm. like a regular job? And also, most regular jobs don't let you leave for weeks at a time to go like squash a Hydra uprising in some far flung like, European country, right? Right. Most jobs aren't like, yeah, you can have a month off to go fight Thanos. <laughs> right. Because like with with Black Widow specifically, you brought up Black Widow. We saw yeah. at the beginning of Avengers um, and in Iron Man. Uh, that she worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. And so obviously she was right. getting a paycheck that way. But then in Captain America and the Winter Soldier, S.H.I.E.L.D. disbands. And mm-hmm. so she's obviously not going to earn a paycheck that way after that. So right. yeah, you raise a good question. How is she paying the rent? I mean, maybe we'll find out right. in the Black Widow movie, but it seems unlikely that they're going to cover right. that particular... So either like every kind of non-subsidized person has some enormous family inheritance that they're just still working through, mm-hmm. or how but like that's unlikely i mean and i guess the only other one where i'm like i know how he has a brownstone in new york is dr strange because he was a neurosurgeon and that's a very high paying job and plus but that like, was just like a place that the that the wizards all owned anyway so oh that's to, true but i mean he gets to even before, like rent free right but even Who before that, taxes he was on a, that? He, magic oh magic i forgot about magic okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cop out magic <laughs> yeah I, i'm just like I don't understand where the paychecks come from for anyone like War Machine or Black Widow or I guess. And is Ant-Man, does Scott Lang just kind of work for Hank Pym? Is that? Ant-Man's got the uh, security system. He has a business. That's right. right? He's a small business business. owner. That's right. He's a small business owner. So he has like a legit way to make a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because money was a central focus in the first Ant-Man. He was a a, uh, a burglar. So he he, he He steals money. Right, because he had gone to jail for like some huge heist, right? And then he right, was like, exactly. I want to keep stealing to support right. my, so, my family. Yeah. And so when you make that a prime concern of your of your story, it's it's you know, you can have some fun explaining how and why he needs and gets money. Right. But yeah, it's still it's still, you know, I have my own theories, right? Because we So started what are talking, those theories, Brian? Well, we started th- I'm so glad that you asked. <laughs> uh, we started talking about this because of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then I got to thinking, well, what about WandaVision, right? Mm-hmm. So in Infinity War, we see that Wanda and Vision are hanging out in Edinburgh, in Scotland, in some very fancy-looking apartment or hotel. Mm-hmm. Who's paying for that? I don't know. Then, at the end of WandaVision, spoilers, we find out that there was a deed to a house owned by Wanda, and it literally said on the deed, Vision. Mm -hmm. So legally, this robot owned this land that they somehow bought and paid for. Right. And we're going to build a house on. So this raises a lot of questions because Vision doesn't... Yes? I have one thing. So you're talking about Uh the scene in WandaVision where uh, they flash back to the uh, Mm -hmm. what is grief but not love persevering. That was not a fancy hotel. That was the uh, Avengers headquarters. She says that. No, 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 no. Right, right, right. No, yes, you are correct. So she's in Avengers. This is at the beginning of Infinity War. I'm talking about in the beginning of Infinity War. That's right. They're in uh, Scotland just hanging out. That's right. 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 She shows up and she figures out the Vision has learned how to turn himself into Paul Bettany, which is awesome. It seemed to work out well for both of them. Um, it would, so, man. So, but so it raises the question: like, how does this robot, who is not a person, how does he have money to go in on a house right. with Wanda Maximoff, who also doesn't have a job? And if we're just talking in terms of like universe building, I would say that this is the beginning of a, a giant MCU real estate bubble crash. Like, this is another <laughs> like 2008 all over again, where what happens is the banks start giving out loans to beings that are not necessarily going to be considered legally human in the future. Like they know that there's right. going to be a court case coming up mm. and then they've got their people 
like, uh, behind the scenes pushing for, you know what, man? I mean, are synthesoids really human beings? He's 90% vibranium. I mean, that's a, I don't know about right. you. I'm not. So, like, could he even really own the house that he's been paying for this entire time? <laughs> right. This feels well, and like also a scam. What- what person is like, oh, I'll definitely sell a house to you, uh, robot Well, this man. is, I mean, this <laughs> helps to explain why they wouldn't give Falcon a loan after the blip, right? Because that house right. was bought pre-blip. Right. And, and then, then everyone no goes paid. away and yeah. they're like, we're not just giving out houses to Avengers anymore. <laughs> um, but, 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 this raises the question. This is, so how are they paying for this thing in the first place? How are they even right. getting these loans? Where is the, where's the down payment coming from? And the only thing I could think of the only way that I think that Wanda Maximoff and the Vision make money is through mind control. There's, they don't do any yeah, jobs. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. They don't do any work for goods or services outside of being superheroes. And we right. know now that Stark doesn't pay them. So they must go to, uh, when they need sweaters, they go to JCPenney. They take what they want. Yeah. And they do a little Jedi mind trick. You know, you don't need to yeah. see my credit card. And then they leave. Right. Alternately, you got vision. Like, uh, he, he, he's messing with bank accounts digitally. Yeah, I mean, right. Like, that's a small and untraceable crime. But he's like, a at computer. the same time, morally, how right. do we justify this? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. How, what, what, what crime is justifiable for a superhero to, to commit? There's a whole book to be written here, you guys. Steal bread to feed your family. And nobody's going to buy it, but I think yeah. it's a really yeah. good book. You, you can steal bread to feed your family. That's justifiable. But what if instead of bread, your family needs a really fancy hotel in Scotland to just like not be an Avenger? Right. Or to buy Before a house a in New Jersey. Sorry, New Jersey. We stole this land. Who owned that parcel of land? They lost all that money because Wanda yeah. did her little, whoop, you know, the thing her that she did. mind control thing. Mind control and uh, vision too can like unlock and relock your memories in your brain apparently. Mm-hmm. So straight up mind control. That's the Brian. Answer. I love that you've cast this robot god as the Jean Valjean of the franchise. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just trying to get by. Yeah, just yeah. trying to get by, baby. Just needs that loaf yeah. of bread slash hotel room for his loved ones. Just this bulletproof man who can walk through any wall on the planet. <laughs> just trying to get by. What is love if not? Stealing mind control of land <laughs> in New Jersey through mind control, persevering. Yeah. It's pretty sad when you think about it. Were they sneaking stuff. into those hotel rooms? Is that what was happening? I think they went to the front desk and they were like, you have a reservation for Wanda Maximoff and The Vision, right? Yeah. And they're like, yes, because they did mind control. There's no other and explanation. Th- and also the hotel in Scotland, as hotels are wont to do, would be like, can I see your passport? And they'd be like, no, because we're like not real people. So they yeah. would have to use mind control. I'm a former yeah. terrorist. He's a robot. We're kind of <laughs> yeah. on the run. Sokovia Accords. I don't know. Yada, Things yada, yada. Wrong. Anyway, can we have a master suite? Yeah. Don't, and then yeah, they use don't a fake worry. name to check in just to like kind of yeah. spice it up a little bit extra. That's yeah. fun, yeah. man. Good Mond- for them. Mondo Mondo keeping the magic alive. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> So that's my answer to that question. That's horrifying. Thanks for joining us. Please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.